The Park Tab belongs to the inch size class of UbiComp devices and is the smallest built at Xerox Park. It is a pen-based graphics terminal that uses an infrared network for its communication. The tab design emphasizes communication over local processing power for two important reasons. First, wireless communication is critical for mobile computing. It allows users to seamlessly connect to the information infrastructure being built from existing wide area networks. Second, and more important, it is the physical size of the device. The computer science lab's premise was that the tab had to be small enough to enable researchers to carry it throughout the day. However, this requirement placed severe constraints on both the amount of local computation as well as the battery life that could be built into the device. As opposed to designs used for other personal digital assistants, CSL took a novel approach to integrating the tab's communications and size requirements. The result is a PDA that runs a simple operating system and functions more as a terminal than as a workstation, with its applications running on remote hosts. CSL researchers knew that a terminal-based system had clear advantages in its simple design, small size, and low power consumption. The Park Tab Infrared Packet Network is effective for communication between stationary base stations and mobile systems, as well as for communication between two or more mobile systems. Park's IR network was specifically designed for use inside a building where each room is wired with a transceiver that acts as a communication cell. This design provides seamless communication when a Park Tab moves from cell to cell. Originally built for the Park Tab, the network also accommodates other portable computing devices, such as MPADS and the HP95 PalmTop PC. The Park Tab system software is built from three types of processing components gateways, agents, and applications. Gateways implement a datagram service for sending and receiving IR packets. Each tab is represented by an agent. Independent of the tab's location, the agent provides remote, reliable procedure calls. Agent protocols can be used to enforce security, for example, preventing an unauthorized application from taking control of a tab. The agent also mediates access to the tab. The agent receives application requests bound for its tab and delivers events from the tab to the current application. Applications are built using a library of widgets designed to accommodate the Park Tab's low IR communications bandwidth and small display area. A distinguished application, the Shell, permits a Tab user to start any application and to switch among them. The system employs three communication media. Infrared is used for packets between transceivers and Tabs. A serial line connects a host running the IR gateway to the hardware transceiver. Finally, Ethernet connects the IR gateway processes with Tab agents. Sun RPC is used for communications between gateways, agents, and applications. The Tab Shell provides a graphical user interface for starting and controlling Tab applications. Tapping an active area on the screen, either an icon or text field, initiates a Shell action such as starting an application or moving to a new screen. Once an application has been started, it takes control of the Tab. Any pen or button events from the Tab are sent to the active application via the agent. Only one application can write to the tab's display at any given time. The middle button signals an application to suspend itself so that control returns to the tab shell. The weather application provides an up-to-date weather report for the area near Park. It reads the temperature and wind speed from Park's rooftop weather station and retrieves a timely National Weather Bureau forecast from an internet service. The stylus interface allows the user to scroll through the text of the forecast. The dictionary application demonstrates access to a database that does not fit on the tab itself. By tapping on the keys of a graphical keyboard, the user moves through a word list in a manner similar to Emacs's incremental search function. Tapping on a word in the word list retrieves its definition from a network accessible dictionary. The calendar application allows access to the user's online calendar. The top button reviews appointments for a given date. The bottom button adds a new appointment for the given date and time. Again, text is entered by tapping on the graphical keyboard. Hand printing recognition is an alternative method for entering text. CSL is experimenting with a radically new script called Unistrokes, where each character is represented by a single stroke, 
which is faster to write and easier to recognize than a conventional character. Unistrokes enables a style of text entry where characters are written one on top of the other. This technique allows the Park tab to compete with larger devices where each character is normally written sequentially. The tab incorporates a Unistrokes trainer application, providing the user with an easy way to learn the Unistrokes script. The strokes are grouped into classes based on the degree of difficulty in remembering the stroke. Each class is tested separately. The user is presented with a letter and responds with the appropriate stroke. Should the user make a mistake, a correct sample stroke is drawn. Future applications are planned that will allow multiple tabs to collaborate simultaneously using groupware currently under development.